Welcome to our introduction to Cubase. Cubase has been around for a long time, more than 25 years. Its ancestor, the Pro24 software, was around as early as 1987. Cubase, as you may know, is manufactured by a German company named Steinberg. In 1989, Cubase worked like a MIDI sequencer. Cubase has changed a lot since the early days. In fact, Steinberg was the pioneer of Virtual Studio Technology, or VST. We'll be hearing a lot about VST in this course. Cubase is now a fully powered digital audio workstation, or DAW, as I'll be referring to it later on. Cubase 5 has added some enhancements to Cubase 4 that really improve workflow and media management. Cubase is great for managing the thousands of files you need at your fingertips for creating loops, mixes, effects, and more, for example, with the new media bay. If you're new to Cubase, you'll be happy to know this software can indeed support your entire musical creation process, from simple audio and MIDI recording and editing, to video soundtracking and score production. Cubase is available in PC and Mac versions in quite similar environments, so it really doesn't matter which platform you're using because the way to use the program is the same. Mac diehards might insist that they get better quality and performance, but these days PCs pack just as much power as Macs do and are much more stable than they used to be. More important to overall performance is the size of your RAM, your hard drive, your processor speed, as well as the quality of your recording environment and connections. We're going to be covering optimal hardware requirements in the quick start section of this course. So just a quick summary, what does the Cubase DAW, or Digital Audio Workstation, offer you? A state-of-the-art audio and MIDI recording environment. Cubase records and plays back digital audio and MIDI. A state-of-the-art audio and MIDI editing environment. Cubase gives you many flexible tools for editing and managing your recorded files in a non-destructive way. Non-destructive means your original recorded input is kept intact. Virtual instruments. For those of us who don't keep an orchestra or a full band hidden under your desk, Cubase comes with built-in high-quality software synthesizers that use your audio interface to generate sounds. Cubase 5 comes with quite a few virtual instrument packages. We'll be learning how to use virtual instruments, or VSTIs, later in this course. Cubase has a number of built-in audio and MIDI effects, many of these with really good presets that easily let you give a professional edge to your sound. Cubase 5 includes many real-time MIDI effects and real-time audio effects. We're going to be looking at some of these later in this course. Cubase also acts as the hub to and through which you can connect other internal or external signal processing effects like compressors, pitch modulators, etc. Mixing. Cubase gives you a virtual mixing environment that mimics a hardware mixer. The plus is that you're not limited by any number of inputs or outputs. That's all handled virtually for you by Cubase. However, if you prefer, Cubase does let you connect an external mixing console from which you can manage your recordings. Multimedia production. You can import videos, export new soundtracks, synchronize your project to a video, and prepare and export scores, and much, much more. And media management. Cubase provides loop and media browsers that let you organize your thousands of files in ways that are easy for you to tag, identify, and audition. And this concludes our introductory segment about Cubase.